In this video, we discuss the difference between the Internet and the World Wide Web. People often use the words the Internet and the World Wide Web interchangeably to mean the same thing. They are not the same thing, and it's important you understand the distinction for your exam. So the Internet has its foundations way back in the 1960s as a way for government researchers initially to share information. This led to the formation of what was known as ARPANET, the Advanced Research Project Agency Network, as a way to allow armed forces to communicate over a connected, distributed network during the Cold War. ARPANET expanded to connect beyond the military and started to connect third-party contractors and universities in the US. By the mid-1970s, ARPANET had connected to NORSA, the earthquake monitoring system in Norway, and then to computers in London and eventually other parts of Europe. Initially, the different computer networks had no single standard way to communicate with each other. ARPANET eventually adopted the TCP IP protocol as a standard way for different kinds of computers to talk to each other on the 1st of January 1983. And this is the point where most people consider the Internet to really have been born. So completely separately from this in 1989, a British scientist, Sir Tim Berners-Lee, working at CERN, came up with the concept of the World Wide Web. The idea was to have a decentralised repository of information linked together and shareable with anyone who could connect to it via the Internet. He built the very first website in 1993. And then CERN opened up the software for the web to the public domain. Berners-Lee was also responsible for creating the very first website browser, initially called World Wide Web and later renamed to Nexus. So as a simple summary, the Internet is a worldwide interconnected series of computers and networks, whereas the World Wide Web is a collection of websites and web pages accessed using the Internet. Let's look at a real simple analogy. We can think of the Internet as the roads that connect villages, towns and cities together. The World Wide Web, therefore, becomes the things that you see and visit on the roads, such as houses, shops and cinemas. The vehicles on those roads represent the data moving and travelling around the internet. While some of these will be moving between websites, others will be using the internet to transfer emails or other data completely separately from the World Wide Web. That's everything you need to know for this video. Pause now and take some notes.